I thought I'd come down to Bow Fiddle just to get a, a time lapse and uh, an image. I haven't taken the camera out the bag at all today, so now is the time. But I have just had my first proper flight with my new Mavic Air. And it went really well. I've got some great footage, I think, of course. I didn't crash it. I went out to sea. It all went quite well. Um, it's a brilliant wee toy and it's going to be fantastic for doing some b-real footage of things so um yeah it's a great afternoon to come down to bow fiddle it's been a, another fantastically sunny day i'm more about clouds and a bit more color but you work with what you've got we've still got some good waves here and i'll go through my camera settings with you and tell you what i'm doing so you know what's going on and hopefully show you an image at the end Okay, hang on a second, switching over. Okay, so here we are at Bow Fiddle. This is a, a great rock formation, a rock sea arch and sea stack, I suppose, or sea arch more than anything. Just off the coastline of Port Lockie in Murray, uh, Murray Shire, Scotland. It uh, must be around about four o'clock in the afternoon, I think. So the sun's dipping away. We've lost the majority of the main 
light because there are clouds in the western horizon. So I've got uh, an ECV5 Pro system on the camera. That's their uh, 0.9 soft ND grad and their six stop ND and also their landscape polarizer. 16 to 35 millimeter lens, wide uh, or at its widest at 16 millimeters, f11, ISO 100, and I've got about a 13 second exposure. You can see what I'm looking at there. So let's take a shot. Put the remote trigger when the waves are out. We've got these waves. They're just lapping away at the front of the camera here. And we'll give this a go. Here comes one now. And that's me press the button for the shutter on my remote. Nice swirling patterns. Let's have a look at that. So, really smoothed out the water. I'm actually going to take the six stop off now and see if I can get a little bit more detail on these waves. So you can so that you get a, a bit of a comparison. So that's 13 seconds with the six stop ND. And I'm just gonna stop the camera for a second, get that off safely and then show you again. Taking off the ND filter, the exposure is a little bit high. I could have done with a three stop ND rather than just a six stop. So I've increased my aperture to F16. I've also dropped the camera's ISO down below the native to 50. Um, and I've got a 1.6 seconds exposure, 1.6 seconds exposure. Um, but the sky is far too blown out. So I'm going to do an exposure blend. I'll take a, a much quicker shutter speed for the sky. That's how you think this wave. So much more detail in the wave now this time, but the sky is very, very blown out. So I'm going to reduce the exposure substantially to a sixth, no, a fifth of a second for the sky. Now let's take another shot. Any time will do, because I'm just using the sky. And I'll blend those later on in Photoshop. You can see the sky much, much more uh, much better exposed, much more detail. But I think I'm going to go back up to the longer exposure and get another couple of images of the waves and see what we can combine later on. Um, I've never considered this cheating. It's just a way of, it, of uh, using the camera to its full, and using the technology to its full extent. There's a nice one fanning out. Very nice. Might even wait a little bit longer in that one. Slightly quicker exposure. Perfect. Be a nice swirl. And it is, and I'm going to do the same image again with the lower exposure so that I can expose the sky properly. And that's all done in the same moment. Have a look at that. You can see the sky. Yeah. So sky, sea. And I'll blend those later in Photoshop. So again, it was a fourth, or I guess it's a fourth of a second, F16 and ISO 50 for the sky. And then 1.6 seconds, ISO 50, F16 for the sea. And hopefully we'll get a nice image to finish up with. Cat, the GoPro's over there doing uh, time lapse. I'll show you around a little bit before we finish up.